Uh, continuing on part 12 additional information about you okay and now we're, we're gonna go through uh, item numbers 30 through 46 if there is a yes answer to any of these questions uh, you can have a, a typed basically or printed explanation um, on either at the very bottom or you can include an additional sheet uh, that describes what happened and so in, if you if you ever describe what happened you want to be quite succinct and you don't want to state more than absolutely necessary and in addition to that if any of the answers to 1 through 46 are yes you want to talk to an attorney because this is the section where they could deny your citizenship and even get your green card revoked it's, it's quite serious so so then let's dive right into 30 so <clears throat> here they're, they're looking to see do you have any kind of vices of sorts you know like are you a gambler are you a drunkard uh, have you been a prostitute uh, have you sold or you know smuggled drugs or illegal substances if the answer to any you know if, so all of this really should be no if the answer to any of this is a yes talk to an attorney because it's serious um, so you know if you fail to pay alimony uh, if you gambled illegally, you know, if you made any misrepresentations to obtain a public benefit, you know, th these are all concerns. Uh, have you ever given, so 31 is, have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? 32, have you ever lied to any U.S. government official to gain entry or admission into the U.S.? And so, this might come up for a lot of people, okay? This might come up for a lot of people, so you you, you want to be careful what you state in this, in in these here. So 33, have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported, um, or have you been ordered, or have you been placed in removal? And so those are, so if you were already removed, that means that it's finalized. If you were ordered, uh, again the judge ordered, but you didn't come through with it, or you were placed in removal, and so. If the answer is yes here, so for some people, you know, you were order removed, or there's some going on, and then you, and then the case turned around, and you, either either you left the country and you came back normally legally, um, but but if that was the case, you just want to describe what happened, okay? So you wanna you wanna give in a separate sheet of paper, describe what happened, and it's important. So you wanna describe what happened, when it happened, and what was the outcome especially if the outcome is favorable okay if you have any question again talk to an attorney about this particular section uh, 36 uh, is there anything pending against you if there's any by the way it should be a given if they is that if you have anything pending against you right now you will not get citizenship because all of those other matters need to be concluded and need to be closed out before they can start considering, you know, giving you, um, making you a citizen. So, 37, have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Now, this is a, a section that if you are, then, uh, again, you get benefits. <coughs> and so then, you know, B and C have to do a little more with, uh, are you currently stations overseas? And then if the answer is a yes, then they need to determine where you take your oath and you know which which office processes your request and whatnot so uh, yeah, and then in addition on the military folks on 39 have you ever been court marshals or administratively separated or there's some kind of discipline right so again this goes back to good moral character 40 have you ever been discharged because you were an alien and so if you're discharged because you were an alien this could be a an issue because you might have uh, stated something uh, something when you entered that was problematic when you entered the armed forces that was problematic um, 41 have you ever left the US after being drafted and so again this shows that you did not abide to you know what you stood for and the Constitution and you know what you agreed to do have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service uh, have you ever deserted from the US Armed Forces and so if you if you have deserted from the US Armed Forces that's a that's gonna be a problem uh, and then 44 through 50 uh, 
are you if you're a male living in the US between 18 and 26 then basically you need to register with what's called selective service selective service is the system that is in place you know for example if there's a war or something like that you know they come and ask you to in essence they ask you to join they, they keep a track on you to make sure that uh, especially all, all males are fit and ready to for for any kind of you know combat that they can come and draft you uh, so if you did not register by the way if you're between 18 and 26 and you did not register you, you need to provide uh, well, either you need to register or you need to give an explanation as to why. Okay, and we we give that out in later parts of this uh, of this course if needed. And if you have any questions, you can contact the support of this course and and the company so that they can uh, they can help you with it. Answer item number forty-five to fifty. This is called the attachment to the Constitution, and so. These are all required and these are all yeses. If any of these are no's, it, it, it might have an issue. So, 45, you know, do you support the Constitution and form of government? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? We'll put that with course materials. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? In other words, are you uh, allying with the United States? Are you, you know... Are you, are you willing to bear arms and to pay taxes? Those are the two fundamental uh, things, really. So, again, so here's 48. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the U.S.? 49. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services? So, you know, you might help with, I don't know, if there's factory work or something like that needed in times of war. 50. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? And so... You know they're all geared towards war, if if you if you will, and if you think about it, um, because everything changes in times of war, and the whole economy and country kind of gears up to a to a whole different purpose. And so they're trying to make sure that uh, you will agree to do those things. Um, and 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 that is the the attachment to the Constitution part in items 45 through 50. And this also concludes the good moral character section.